right today's video is gonna be on this battery here we got some of these batteries uh more than 100 of them and they are supposed to be unused but obviously not all of them this one in particular here has a little bit of sign of wear like that that pin there seems to be burned up right and it's got some little scuffs uh they have scratches and stuff but they are for the most part seem to be unused uh they don't have like like we made this mark because they were wrapped in cellophane so we had to cut them open and we just did it quickly and we just kind of marked them so if you see a mark in yours it's because we did it while we're trying to open them um i don't know anything about this other than what's written in the thing here right so here's a model number seems to be a 48 volt battery 672 watt hours 14 amp hours right and then when i look on the internet i oh this is all i could find right here basically it seems to be a 328 dollar battery uh this is a dh gate right so i don't know this is a replacement i think this is the original one so maybe this one has better sales then what comes in here, the $300, right? So maybe this is a, a higher price. This is probably worth more money than that, but we're selling our website for way less than that, right? 150 to $149, I think that's what we have in there. Um, I wanna take this apart just to see what's inside, what kind of sells, because I'm just interested in see. And uh, I think maybe you would be interested in seeing what's inside if you're thinking about buying one of these, right? So let's take this apart. So this light comes on and when you check on the thing here uh, po negative and positive you get 32 volts of it here I don't know what the other ones a and B but we, we should check that out see what's in there so let's I'm just gonna take these screws on seems like this cable was loose inside so maybe that's the reason i mean i guess i could have cut it up right now but maybe that's the reason why um this battery's here it's maybe because it had something like this done right because this one's obviously used so for some reason the customer doesn't have it now this the thing about these batteries is that they have all this nonsense all this rubber silicon so you can keep them watertight so i'm gonna have to remove all that to remove it this thing's kind of suck this e-bike batteries because they're glued in there with like uh silicon right that's to make them i think watertight and so they're really hard to work on and service like i would have to kind of get something and push it out of there i'm probably gonna end up damaging but Anyways, what I wanted to look at is the cells, and that's what I was interested in. So these have Samsung INR18650 30-35Es, and those are pretty good cells. Um, that's how they can get this much, right? 600, half a kilowatt hour worth of energy in this tiny little battery. That's crazy. Think about that. That's got 200 kilowatt hours or 200 watt hours more than that over there which seems to be bigger right um and this is a higher voltage um and so it seems like maybe i'd sacrifice one that wasn't unused because it's got this thing in here but all the other ones that we have on there i mean i, I know there's probably some other ones that have nicks and dings and maybe as some signs of being used but for the most part we were told these were unused and 
you know, hopefully you get lucky and get some some that are good and stuff and you can use them for an e-bike. All right, so another question was arising is how much power can these put out? And I mean, there's many ways to find that out, but one quick way is just to try it out. So I took this because I don't have this connector here and that's messed up anyways. Um, I just redid, put XT60s on here to charge it and to discharge it. The two wires that are left over are the center ones, which I, they seem to be data. And I don't know how the original e-bike uses that, but for now, let's just hope that it doesn't need that information to turn on the BMS. So I'm charging at 2.3 amps right now. In fact, let's race that up and see where it will quit. So four, five amps. Okay, so you can definitely charge at five amps. Continuously through these can you do, I know that our website says eight amps. That's because that's the info that we found and we put it in there. So let's try it. Six amps. Seven amps. Eight amps. Okay, so there is charging at eight amps. Okay, let's leave that for a little while, see what happens. If nothing happens, nothing overheats, if the BMS doesn't quit, that means that you can charge continuously at eight amps. All right, so it seems like I can't I'm not able to get any power out of the output, right? It seems that maybe it does need, two things could be happening here. This battery pack is damaged or, um, or it needs some kind of signal with these two wires from the bike controller, right? If anybody out there has info on, on how this works, because this, behaves the same as all the other ones in the pile over there, right? And so when you put uh, a multimeter here, you can measure about 42 volts, which is really low. But when you actually put any load, like a real load, even like this meter here, it just doesn't do anything. Like here, right? I just connected it and this just doesn't power. So if you have any info as to what these batteries need to be able to turn the uh, BMS on, do let us know, post it in the comments, then this video so that uh, people can use them. So for right now, maybe uh, the easiest way to do to do with these is just to use them in the original intent, intended purpose, right? With the e-bike that these were designed for. Uh, and then if you wanna do like a DIY one or something, then you know, you're gonna have to stick with the 34, uh, 36 amp hour or 36 volt you know, 460 one hour um, R5s that we have available. That might be the way to go to DIY stuff. Or if you're smart enough and can figure this out and figure out how to turn these on, then, um, cause look, they do have the light on. So they, they are charged now after we charged it. So anyways, I hope to, I was hoping that I was gonna be more useful <laughs> and give you more info to be able to use these, but I'm kind of stumped on this one, right? And this is kind of out of my league here. I don't do a lot of e-bike stuff, but we're starting to get some e-bike batteries. So that's why we're starting to mess with those in there. But yeah, this one, I don't know. seems like it's, it's off for one or another reason. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have info, post it in the comments and then you're gonna be able to help a bunch of people that are gonna get getting these and stuff, right? So we'll see you guys on the next video, bye. Get the salsa hot. I did ask for you so. this thing. This one up? Oh, yeah, yeah. The they have the, the spare tire. The spare tire? Uh huh. Uh, they don't have a way to store on the bottom. To store it? No. No, no, it's got to be in, right? I yeah, mean... it has to be in there. So I wanted to use that as storage. Hey, they're playing that song. 
They're scrounging. Of course they are. <laughs> Your people. They're real. They're not. It's not just me. All right. So I'm inside the uh, tent, the Rivian tent in here, and uh, it feels pretty nice. Oh, the yeah, dog's in here. <laughs> Bruce and Wayne will be in here. I don't have to cook? No. I can cook and he you can You could freeze. have a butt warmer on, you could have a butt cooler on. Yeah. Whoa. Well, the seat, yeah, that's a little bit different, right? This is, is As this well. the seat? Whoa. This? No, that's your feet. <laughs> oh, and then. And then those the are seat warmers. And that's the cooler. Yeah. And that's the cooler. Okay. Look at that. Oh, and it's got stages. They have seat warmers also? They do, and they have their own screen. 